Hi, Virgo. Some sage to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. If you have Virgo anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Welcome to my channel, Virgo. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. I do look at the sun and moon placements and other planetary placements to get an idea of the energy that is surrounding you. But first and foremost, I do trust my or I do trust my intuition. It is also my hope that during these readings you learn to trust and develop using your intuition as well. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know or to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. Messages. Look at these cards coming out for you. Let's just give those a quick little tweak there. Two more cards for the Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know or to be aware of during our four this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know or to be aware of? Make sure that those... I just need to get these at a little bit of a different angle here. There we go. Virgo, the foundation of this week's reading is the Six of Cups. Precious memories, fond memories, driven by the Five of Swords. Difficult times require us to look and remember the good times, remembering the good times. There was a situation, or is a situation, that is very chaotic, that is very out of sorts, but you are looking back and remembering the good times. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading this week, Virgo. And I do want to wish you happy birthday, Virgo. Um, your birthday is coming up very quickly upon us. Happy birthday. I'll probably wish you happy birthday a couple more times this month as well. But we start off with the Four of Pentacles. Balance and guardedness. It's like we need to have our guard up. The Eight of Cups leaving behind what is no longer serving us. The Knight of Swords only falls rush in. Not having all of the answers, not having a well thought out plan, but taking action anyway. And the Eight of Swords. And so, you know, Virgo, this is going to be probably the most chaotic week of the Mercury retrograde. And I see you experiencing that chaos or some type of chaos in your public life, in your career, at your work. That's what I'm seeing here. Something that you have worked on in the past returns. Something from the past returns. Maybe you're working with, or maybe someone that you worked with before, something that you worked on before is coming back up, or you 
a person that you worked with in the past is coming back up. It's like you're wanting to leave it behind, but it keeps coming back for you. Or maybe you're wanting to work on something from the past. You're ready to rush in and work on something from the past. Something that you don't feel that you had time to complete. Something from the past that you don't feel you had time to complete correctly. Or something from the past that you did not complete. You're wanting to go back and complete that. You're wanting to go back and finish that. And because we are in a Mercury retrograde, this that you're wanting to start or this that you're wanting to restart um, is going to get off to a slow start. But patience and balance. Patience and balance. It's go whatever this past project is that you're working on or you're wanting to work on or you're wanting to start again, whatever this is from the past that is coming up for you that you felt was uh, incomplete or you didn't feel you had enough information, enough knowledge to complete, you're ready to pick it up, you're ready to start it again, but it's going to get off to a slow start. But if you stick with it, it will be very successful and very prof profitable. It will have the results that you're looking for, but it's going to come slowly and it's going to require your patience. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the Virgo. Virgo, in your home life, in your personal life, we start with the Ten of Pentacles. The devil, which could also be a Capricorn. The Hierophant, higher knowledge, higher wisdom. And this is also the five. So we have two fives here. Fives represent motion and action. And maybe even, again, chaos. In your personal life, in your private life. And again, I, this is just the most chaotic week of the Mercury retrograde. If we can prepare, if we can be ready, we'll find that. And the five, your words have gotten away from you, Virgo. There's been sharp words that are that were spoken that are not easily forgotten or not easily forgiven. I don't think that you meant for these words to be so harsh. I think that you were just speaking from the heart. You were speaking in the passion of the moment. And it's not too late for a true and honest apology. That might be what's most difficult here, Virgo is that we can never take back harsh words or misspoken words. And while we may not have intended them to be so harsh, we may not uh, intended for them to hurt someone, they most definitely have. And as Mercury retrograde starts to come to an end, starts to conclude, which will be, you know, uh, the last week of August, um, it's time to consider a heartfelt apology. Or maybe someone is bringing in you a heartfelt apology. And if that is the case, be gracious and accepting that apology. And then we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, finding clarity and knowing that regardless of what happens, 
we can move forward with certainty. The Knight of Cups, being mindful, being careful of our boundaries. The King of Wands, our intuition, our fire, our guiding light. Not being open to our intuition. And the Three of Pentacles. You know, Virgo, with all that is happening in your work and in your home life, you haven't been giving your enough, your, you haven't been giving yourself enough time to process. Meditation or even nature walks are a wonderful way for us to process. I see it's just been a real chaotic retrograde and especially a chaotic work. Uh, a chaotic week there's a lot of emotions there's even some memories even the good memories um, it's there's a lot for you to process and self-care begins with meditation or nature walks